Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven. Today's tutorial is going to be on animating user bars. Now, I already have a tutorial on creating them. This is going to be on animating them. And uh, a friend of mine wanted me to do this for him, so I decided I might as well make it into a tutorial. And it's going to look something like this. It's just, uh, you know, just a quick fade in, fade out to the next user bar. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come into Photoshop and I'm just going to drag all these in. Now once the animating starts, it might get a little bit boring because it's the same thing over and over again, so I might pause it and then stop it once I, uh, and then resume my recording once uh, I'm done animating it. So to start off, I'm just going to come over to Window, Arrange, Horizontal. Alright, and that's all the user bars that I'm going to have. So we wanted this Nod32 user bar first. So I'm just going to drag that down. Make sure I'm on the Move tool. I'm going to click and drag this one. Drag it here and center it. Let me stretch this out a bit. Alright, then minimize it. I'm going to take this one. Center it as well. It kind of snaps into place so it makes it easier. Um, I'm just going to do that for all of these. And this J downloader, this one has uh, rounded corners, and you'll see what we're going to do to make this match all the other ones. We'll actually make all the other ones match this one. So just keep on going. I don't know if this one snapped or not. Okay. Good. <laughs> um. And finally, the last one. And you can see this one is round as well. Okay. So let me fit, uh, fit this over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out and come over to these layers. Let's zoom in, just center this real quick. Good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to hold on Control and select this, and you can see it made, uh, you know, a perfect selection around it. So I'm going to stretch this up, come down to this first one, and click on this layer mask. And you can see it. Let me hide all these. You can see it made that round as well. Okay. So let me go back up. And I'm just going to hold down Alt and click this layer mask. Click and drag the layer mask to all the layers. Oops. Real quick, let's double click this background and just unlock it. Um, all right. Alright, so we have this bottom layer selected, hold down control and make a new layer, which will put the layer all the way on the bottom. And I'm going to click on D to reset my colors. Make sure I'm on that bottom layer and click on oops, Alt Backspace and it's going to make the background black. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is let me pop open this window animation. Let me scale this down a little bit. Alright, let me scale this window as well. And this is the slow boring part. So let me start off by hiding all the layers. So all you're on is the uh, Nod32 layer. And that's one layer. So then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to click it um, one, one time. And hide that, turn on this next one click that two more times then I'm going to hide this turn on the next one two times as well just the same boring part so I'm gonna pause this real quick because it's gonna be really long and boring and then I'll I will come back once I'm done 
All right, so now, um, as you can see, I have, I, it should be, let's see, two layers for each frame. All right, now this first layer only has one, and you'll see why. So what I'm going to do is come all the way to the end. I'm going to duplicate this one, make it one more time, open up my layers again, hide this, and turn on the nod 32 we're going to have it fade in and then fade out at the end all right so now as you can see this time right here they are all on <clears throat> zero seconds so what I'm going to do is go to the first layer hold down shift and select the last one changes to you can't see it but I'm changing it to 0.5 Let's see if I move this up change it to 0.5 okay oops so then come on over to this first layer. All right, this one. So the first one, hold on shift and then click on this this button right here for tweening. And I'm going to tween it by 2. So then come on over over select these two right here and change this to 0.1. All right. So now skip this one, come over to this one this one and this one so I'm going to tween that too select those two and change that to uh, 0.1 this one should be 0.1 as well actually so it's 3.1's in a row okay so that one stays at 0.5 pauses and stays there so I'm gonna come over to here between this select these three point one between this same thing alright I'm gonna pause this again and I will start it up once I finish this alright so now if you remember I have the uh, the same thing that the first frame is not 32 I have it again on the end so now, if you look over here, this not 32 is 0.5 seconds. So over on the end, I'm going to select these last two. And I'm between this. All right. So now I'm going to take all three of these, even the not 32, and change that to 0.1 second. OK. And what this 0.1 does is uh, it's the time it takes from to go from this frame to this frame. And you'll see this when I play it. So I'm going to come to the first layer and play. You can see it goes over it. The point ones go quick and then pause at the point five. Okay, so that looks good to me. So I'm going to stop that. And to export this, what I'm going to do is come over to File, Save for Web and Devices. Let me see if I can scale this down. Um, Sorry about that. Okay. So now there's a couple things you want to worry about. Let me slide this over. On this right side, you want to make sure it's on GIF. And I turn this lossy. I'm not really sure what it is. It says controls amount of loss, uh, lossness allowed in GIF compression. I just turn it to 2 because it looks fine for me. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And we'll name it user bar animation okay so then what that does is saves it onto your desktop let me pop open Internet Explorer and then just drag it into here all right and there it is that's that's all there is to animating the user bar in Photoshop it's really easy just a lot of the same process over and over again again thanks for watching and see you next time